Hello guys, my name is Gabriela. I'm 31 and I love traveling. That's my passion. Today I'm going to talk about 10 facts about me. So first, my goal about speaking English is to be almost as a native person or maybe speak good English as a native person. Why do I want this? Um, second, it's because I want to be able to be in the US or in the UK and people would recognize that I'm a Brazilian person. They would think that I'm American or I'm from United Kingdom, but maybe my accent will be more like American. And so they would think I'm a native. I don't really care about accent, but I would focus more in American accent, which is maybe the country I'm, I might leave in the future. I'm not sure yet. So I want people to think that I'm a native person. That's a pretty hard goal, yeah? Yeah, I would say. Uh, third, um, I, I use it to be a nanny when I lived in Ireland. I lived in Ireland for two years, right? And uh, that was one of the m most amazing experiences of my life. So people ask me if they should do an exchanging program. I definitely encourage them, like, go for it. If it's your dream, just go for it. Fourth, uh, my favorite books are not books. How can I say this? I don't really like much reading as like a, a passive activity. I love talking with people. I think people are alive books. So I love meeting new people because I think their stories, it's like a real books, you know? So when you talk with a person, this person is like a live story. So I think it's awesome. It's amazing, this idea of reading books through people, you know. Fifth, um, well, this is a funny one. Uh, I don't like much going out. I, my, my life is basically a quarantine and I love it. You know, I, I love spending time home. At the same time, I love traveling. I also like staying indoors a lot. So it's quite funny about me. Uh, I love doing things online. I'm a totally tech person, you know. I love solving all my problems online. And I, now it's like sixth, I met my boyfriend online, you know. <laughs> As I like doing everything online, I met him online. And that was really awesome because I don't like much going out, you know, dancing clubs, like nightclubs. So we met online and it was awesome for me. So seventh, <sighs> what can I say seventh? My biggest dream is to live my dreams. <laughs> so it's a funny dream. My biggest fear, eighth, is not living my dreams. So they're quite similar. I'm a, I'm a quite anxious person. This is the ninth, yeah? I'm quite anxious person and I I'm always planning my future. And uh, was that's a, another funny fact about me. When I was 13, I made the list, like what I want to do until my 30s. And I followed all this list, you know, like all, all, every single item of this list, I lived and I lived and I, I suppressed my goals. Uh, how can I say, I wanted to speak uh, two languages today, I can speak almost three. I, I'm very demanding, so I would say almost four. But I just consider myself fluent when I can do like a speech as I'm doing here right now. So if I can't do it in Spanish, I don't say that I'm fluent, but I can communicate very well. I wanted to visit other countries and I ended up visiting like 10 countries. I wanted to visit at least five. So 10 is a great number. I mean, it doesn't matter really the number, but I lived the experiences that I wanted to, like, to get to know people from many parts of the world. You know, my best friend was uh, 
Yemen when I lived in, uh, in Ireland. Another best friend was British. Another best friend was uh, Japanese. So I got to know people from many parts of the world, and it was really, really great experience, you know. And um, tenth, <laughs> tenth, it's hard to say, decima. Um, everybody think that I'm a, an extrovert because I'm speaking here in front of the camera. But the ugly truth is like, it's hard for me as well. You know, it's hard for me to be in front of a camera. It feels awkward many times to be exposing my life for you guys. But I do this to help other people. And one of the most important things in my life, in my life purpose, is to be able to help people through my experiences. Like, I, I think that if I could know uh, other things when I was younger, my life would be a lot better. And that's the main reason that I teach English, English for people nowadays, because English just changed my life in some beautiful way or beautiful that I really want people to live the same experience, you know. Doesn't matter if you don't have a dream to visit abroad, but the, the simple uh, privilege of communicating with other people, it's already awesome, like reading a live books through English. It's what I most loved about speaking other language. And in this case, the English, English is the language that many people around the world we will speak for sure. If you were traveling, if you were like communicating yourself, I have friends that like let's say uh, she's uh, she m she is married with a French guy. They both speak they both speak Romantic language. Let's say he speaks French and she speaks Portuguese, but they communicate between between them in English. So many times English will be the main language you're going to speak with other foreigners. So you, you won't need to learn like, a, let's say, German, French, uh, Spanish to live in Europe. If you speak English, you're going to be able to communicate okay. But of course, when you speak the language of the country, it's a way better. So. I think English just opened doors for life, for networking, for friendship, for great experiences. And sometimes people just wonder, like, why should I, why should I learn this language? Why do I need to speak English? In our case in Brazil, it's like, it's the future business language. And it's almost a global language. So speaking English is not just about having a better work, having a better life, but it's about having better experiences in your life. And I definitely encourage you guys, if you were aiming to learn English, that you go ahead and you don't, if you don't like the traditional methodology, just go for the fun thing, you know? Like what made me learn was enjoying the process. Like I know I'm speaking quite fast right now, but I can slow down if you need. Uh, what encouraged me learn was the enjoying the process. I know everybody says this is like a kind of cliche, but when you learn how to enjoy this, it's it's like every day you're studying for fun, you know. Like you see something in a, on the TV and you want to understand what they're saying. You want to know the subject. And then you start studying because just because you're curious, you know, and uh, this is the skill, curiosity. Curiosity just bring you to a parallel world, and and in in a while you just realize that you're just studying for fun, you know, and you're doing a brain exercise, you were doing like a language exercise, and you were improving your life through other language. You have so much English material online. You have so many reasons that it's not about business and money and career, but you have so many interesting things that you can do in English that you will just think, wow, I should be speaking this. Like, 
you know, it's just awesome. So yeah, today I just came here to share with you guys these 10 things. And also I will let this, um, this speech that I'm doing here below this, this video. And you can access the, you know, the text of, the, of my speech here. What I'm saying is going to be written down in this video. So you're also going to be able to study the, the words I'm speaking in Portuguese or any language that you want. And you're going to be tr understanding your own language, but and then you're going to be able to understand what I'm saying in other language. And I'm a Brazilian girl. Maybe my heart is a bit American as well. So I don't know anymore who I am. I just know I belong to the world. And the world is an amazing place to be. And I wish you, you guys, the best. I wish you that, you, that your dreams come true. And just remember, this, this is an informal speech. And so we're going to find many, like, uh, grammar uh, imperfections, or maybe mistakes. But it, that's the way I speak naturally, English. So it doesn't matter if you're a teacher, if you're a student, if you're a native. If you're able to communicate yourself, that's the target, you know. So thank you guys for watching here. If you like my channel, please follow, subscribe to my channel, give thumbs up for this video, also like it, and share with a friend that's learning English. So thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.